Okay guys, so the next part for this assignment is doing a walk cycle for your space spaceman or space girl. So what you should probably be seeing right now is something like this. So you were taking pictures of your character or maybe something like this, right? So the first thing I want you all to do is if you hit N, it should bring up this menu right here. And you should see the camera to view and you can turn that off. So now when I move it, I won't have that um, that lock on. So first thing I advise you to do is do a quick file, save as, and then rename this to Spaceman, and then let's call this Layer Parenting, and then hit Save As. That way you don't lose the uh, file where you were doing the posing for your character since we're going to make changes to this. So next I want you to go ahead and in your outliner go ahead and turn off your camera or hide it by clicking the eye icon. I am going to do the same for the area lights. Just turn that off. And I'm going to look for this plane which is this one right here because we're going to make a new one. And turn that off too. So if you haven't been doing so, make sure you are renaming all of your objects on here. As you can see, I've named some but not all. So let's go ahead and take some time to do that. So this right here it should highlight which one. Switch. Oh, that one's already labeled. Okay. Necklace, torso, there we go. So this is my right arm. Click on this one. All I'm doing is double clicking over here and then entering the name. Arm. last leg and I'm just going to pause here so I can rename everything so take the time to do that on your end okay so for the most part everything has been renamed I notice I had some objects here that I'm not quite sure what they belong to oh that's camera but I am turning them off in the meantime and I'm pretty sure I'll find out later on if they were important or not so once you have all this renamed I want you to go ahead and put your character uh, let's see make sure these points right here are located where the joints would actually be meeting so torso stays the same um, the head if you have the point in the middle that's perfectly fine too I just have it down here because I wanted to make specific tilts for the pictures but your arms, your limbs should have this little point right here located where the joints would be meeting. Now, if yours doesn't have that, this is one way you can go about doing it. So I'm going to click on the arm, hit G, just to move it out. You don't have to do that part, but select the arm, hit tab to be in edit mode. Select A on your keyboard to select everything. And then if you hit G after selecting A, you can see that when you move your object, the point never does. So you're basically moving the object for your arm joint to meet there. But I don't know if you guys saw that the little armband wasn't moving with it. So back in object mode, I'm holding shift to select both. Tab to enter edit mode and then A to select everything, G to make the move. And now they both move together. So mine was where it was supposed to be. So I'm not going to, going to command Z until, there we go. So if, since we did the mirroring for the legs, um, it only ends up with one point. So I know there is a, portion in the video that shows you how to separate them and to have them as individual um, objects but the easiest way I can tell you is 
go to your modifiers where you added the mirror and then turn off or remove the mirror if you have it. So I don't have it in this one, but I think one of these weird ones here. There you go. So let's say this was my leg, right? I would just come in here, hit this little X, and it would turn off the mirror. Of course, you're going to lose one of the legs, but all you have to do is make sure you select everything from here, Shift D, make a copy, and then just make adjustments to place it in your character. But that is my suggestion for making the individual limbs instead of using the mirror. But use this time to go ahead and move these points to where they have to. If you forgot, you make sure you select everything that's included in this. Hit tab to enter edit mode. A to select all, and then you're gonna select G to move your object to make sure it's aligned to where the joint's supposed to be. And once you have all that done, I'm gonna select three so I can see my character. I want you to place your characters in the um, neutral pose. So for example, this one, I'm gonna select both, hit R to rotate, oops. Oh, I lied guys. First, let's go ahead and start parenting these, um, these layers. So if I click on this arm, band right here. I'm going to select the arm band first, then hold shift, select the arm next. I'm going to hit control P and then select object keep transform. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other arm. Select the wristband first, hold shift, select the arm, control P and then object keep transform. Do this for the legs too. Select a little Band, hold shift, select the leg, control P, object keep transform, control P, object keep transform. The same for the helmet, I select. So first I'm going to select the little ear, earmuffs, whatever we call these, hold shift, then the little visor, hold shift, and then the head last, then control P. Object keep transformation. And then I'm just going to select the head for this part. Hold shift to the neck. Control P. So you can tell if you've parented everything by if I select this little wristband in my properties, there is something called object properties. It looks like an orange square right here hit the relations and you can see that the parent layer or the parent object is the right arm, which is this one. Double check all these little bands right here, visor, helmet. Okay, perfect. And then if I click on the head, parent layer is the necklace. So now that we have all the small limbs paired up, we're going to go ahead and parent everything to the torso. So the parent layer, is the last one you select. So let's go ahead and I'm going to select the neck, little necklace, hold shift, select the arms, and make sure you're clicking on the actual bigger, like the arms and not the little bands. Okay, so now everything's selected, hold shift. I'm going to select the torso last, control P, and then to object. And Okay. So now if I click on these limbs, you'll see that the torso is the parent layer. Cool. All right. Now that we have everything parented together, I'm going to go ahead and move this character into a neutral pose. So if I hold R, so click this, hold R, move it down. Actually have to hit G to move this up. Okay. That looks better. 
I'm going to select the uh, head here, select R to rotate, hit Z so it rotates on the Z axis, select the leg, R for rotate, Z, You might not need to do everything like I am, but just make sure you start off with a neutral pose like this. And I notice, okay, there we go. Cool. So now we have something like this, where everything has a point where limbs meet. It's a neutral pose. All the uh, objects have a parent layer, and the main parent or the overall parent is the torso. Okay, you won't see anything in the torso because it is the parent layer, but you should see it as the parent layer for everything else.